exception that really matters because it's common. And the exception is this stuff, this guy right here. Hmm. Which is the bed score. Now, if this is not in a corner, it is obviously alive, because the two points that I'm covering with white are me I. Hmm. Right? Sure. If, if white plays one, black plays the other, and is alive. But in the corner, it's not quite absolutely true. So let's make this bench four in the corner here. And we'll surround it with white. And the surrounding stones are actually going to matter in this case. Okay. So we make it white's turn. And white plays here. Mm. Now, if we're just talking about me, I black would have to respond where? A1. Yeah, in the corner, right? Yep. But what's the problem? It's a capture point. It's an Atari. Yeah. The so white can take... And uh, it's black's turn now, and this is actually a co. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. And if white plays, if black plays in co-threat that white's not going to answer, white can capture the black screw. Hmm. So it turns out that if white has enough co-threats, this thing can behave like, uh, as if it was a killing shape. You can kill that. It's not completely alive. Hmm. Right? And the issue has to do entirely with the corner. But this is much worse than you probably think it is from just this, okay? So let's make a little bit of a modification here. We're just going to give black a couple more liberty. That's the only difference here. Hmm. Right? So white plays here. Black still responds in the corner. Right? Right. White captures. And black has a, a, a special move here. What, what's black's idea? Hmm. Instead of making a co-threat, Black can do something else. Oh, man, I don't know. Maybe just C1? Yes, right, C1. Yeah. Because A1 is illegal, it's suicide. Hmm. And Black's alive. White can uh, take an outside liberty if he wants, but Black's alive. Hmm. Now, Black needs two outside liberties for this trick to work. Right? If black had one less liberty, then we have black here, white here, and this is self Atari. Oh, wow. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Right. Okay. So we're starting to see where Ben 4 in the corner acts weird, but it's much weirder than you might think. <laughs> we're still not there yet. Okay? This gets worse. <laughs> so, so, first of all, it's, a cor it's apparently a, a killing shape that turns into co, but then depends on how many outside liberties there are. So this is, this is already kind of a little bit funky. But what about this kind of situation? So this, if it happens anywhere outside of the corner, is just seggy, right? Right. Mm -hmm. If black plays A or B, black dies. And if white plays A or B, black will, uh, black will live. But in the corner, it's a little bit different because white can play specifically A. And A makes a bent four in the corner, which is co. <laughs> Interesting. Right? Yeah, yeah, I see it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so white can play A, which is co. Now this this is gonna get this is about to get much stranger than you can possibly than you, this is gonna be much stranger than you expect. And we are going to get an answer to this, but the answer is not going to be what you think it is. Okay? So, <laughs> All right. for starters, right, black cannot remove this co, no matter how many outside liberties black has. Hmm. Right? We can, we can give black all of the outside liberties in the world. So black has a whole bunch of outside liberties here. Right? Sure. And black still can't A or B, right? Huh. And in order to start this, and in order to start the, uh, the co, white plays A, right? And you say, but white can't play A right now, right? Because 
then Black has this this trick with using the outside liberties. Right. But White gets to decide when he plays that. Hmm. So White doesn't have to play that now. White can fill in the outside liberties first. And there's nothing Black can do to stop this. Hmm. Right? Yeah. And then White does this, and then it... Wow. Right? <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Okay. Okay, yeah. so there's... So first off, there's absolutely nothing Black can do to prevent White from making the call. Second, White gets complete discretion of when this co starts. Hmm. Right? Right. White can start this after the game is over. Like right at the end. When there's no more co Yeah, White can start this. White can do this any time at all, right? And Black has to find the first co-thread. Right? Yeah, scary. Wow. Okay, so this is this is this is this is this is actually much a much worse co than it sounded like. Now, this is actually a place where Japanese and Chinese rules differ. So under Chinese rules, white does not lose points by playing inside white's own territory, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Yep. So under Chinese rules, since white can start this co at any time, white can play inside his own territory all he wants and remove every single black co thread. Hmm. And then begin this co. Hmm. Yeah, I could see that. Wow. Okay. And Black doesn't have any co threats, so Black is dead. Big dead. Woo. <laughs> yeah, just plain dead. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, under Japanese rules, this is weirder, right? Because it depends on can White play inside of his own territory to remove co threats enough times that it's worth it to kill the group isn't this weird yeah i could see the difference there. isn't that just a question isn't that a bizarre question yeah so you have to consider like what game format you're playing in when you're considering like cool. using this. okay yeah. so okay so yeah. I, there's actually an answer here Okay, so in Chinese rules, it is possible, through a very convoluted argument, to deduce that black is actually dead. In Japanese rules, the thing is so unclear that there is actually a patch rule, sort of like chess's en passant three-move repetition or whatnot. And Japanese rules explicitly have an additional rule, which they usually don't tell beginners about. And that rule says that this shape is dead. Huh. I've never heard that before. Yes, you probably didn't if you haven't actually actually <laughs> studied this. So it's anything that is that looks like Seki but can be made into a bent four in the corner. Huh. And um so it's it does very well with liberties, right, in any kind of capturing race, because you can't even kill it without Ko. Right? You can't capture it without Ko. But it's ex it's explicitly dead. Hmm. Now Chinese rules don't one hundred percent solve this as cleanly as you might think, um, because uh, the people who are, who studied this never thought about the case. What happens if there's two of them? <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> right? Yeah. So you use one of them to make co threats for the other one, huh? And stuff like that. Right? And the Japanese rule of solution that simply says it's dead and that's it uh, is actually what is mostly used in practice. We just treat it as dead. Hmm. So this is, the, this is the weird pathological exception to the rule of killing shapes. And it happens much more often than you would think. Huh. Um, so this is why things like... Uh, this, this is the, I need more of the same color. Um, This with white, and we'll make some black stones here surrounding it. 
So black here and here, white is dead. Sure, yeah, I can see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, white is dead because white can't capture black and this is not Seki. Because eventually black can make the bet four in the corner. Mm. So this black, this white is group is dead. This is an example of a group that's died, that's dead for this reason. So, uh, huh. this is, I, I, this is thing I feel that after I've taught killing shakes, I have to show you this in order to be like honest. <laughs> um, and there are some, there are some other things in the corner aside from the bent four, but none of them actually are things you're ever going to see in a real game. They're weird, right? They're like pathological stuff that that people who studied this have found that violate killing shape rules. But this is one that actually happens in real games. It's good to know, yeah. I mean, it's I, very important. I, I don't think I'll ever forget the bent four in the corner now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's, 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 it's really shocking. And the, and the rule is bent four in the corner um, actually dies unless you explicitly make the bent four, in which case it's co or alive depending on outside liberties. Hmm. Wow. Which is absurdly complicated. It's just, it's just, it's much more, it's much messier than you could possibly imagine. So, you know, people who tell you that Go's rules are, are like, completely crystal clear and clean, uh, they're not, actually. Huh. There are some, some funk, there is some funkiness in them. And this is definitely one of those pieces of funkiness. Man, I hope the, uh, the next shapes we go over are less complicated. <laughs> yes.